You're watching KPBI News at 10, news that works for you. All right, like we mentioned earlier, taking our sweet time to cool down tonight. As you can see, out at the airport, 72 degrees, even warmer in town. In town, about 76 degrees, so about 4 degrees warmer than that. Our relative humidity is at 35% in Pocatello. Winds very light out of the west at 6 miles per hour. 79 degrees in town in Idaho Falls with that relative humidity at 30%. Southeast winds at 3 miles per hour, so a little bit uh, calmer winds. Now, let's take a look at that storm tracker. As you can see, earlier tonight, Central Mountains getting hit with that rain, the thunderstorm but I don't have to tell you that you experienced them uh, much into the lower valley getting hit with that brief thunderstorm. It hovered over for about an hour and then moved on upper valley. What thunderstorm? Yeah, that's that's the hit and miss varieties. We take a look at what's going on in through the Pacific Northwest. Now we're going to see a little bit more drier air come into the forecast area tomorrow and this monsoonal flow that's coming up through the Four Corners region. That's going to be held at bay for tomorrow at least. So we won't have those pop up thunderstorms like we've been experiencing this past week. It's going to be relatively dry for Saturday. Let's take a look at your forecast for tonight. Clear skies and hopefully we'll be able to cool down a little bit. Overnight lows 54 for Idaho Falls, 55 for Rexburg and St. Anthony, 56 for Pocatello, 55 for Blackfoot. Mostly clear, just a few clouds in through parts of Jackson, Afton, Driggs, Island Park area. Mid to upper 40s for parts of Jackson, Wyoming, Afton and Yellowstone, 50s for Driggs, Soda Springs and Island Park. Mostly clear, just a few clouds again through parts of Salmon Chalice and Mackey, Ledor at 50, Stanley 42 degrees. Then for tomorrow, how does your weekend look? Not too bad. Sunny skies. Daytime highs getting nice and toasty. 91 degrees for Salmon. Same for Chalice. Mid 80s for Letter and Stanley. Mackey 87. Arco at 90. And then it's going to have that sunshine transition to clouds in the late afternoon for parts of Island Park, Driggs, Jackson, Afton, and Yellowstone as well with highs in the 70s and 80s. And then it's going to get a little toasty into the, the Snake River Plain, as you can see. Clouds in the afternoon, but still going to be warm, warming up to the low to mid 90s. Now, as we take a look at your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven day forecast, hot conditions for much of the weekend, all of the weekend, and into next week with the highs in the low to mid 90s. Yeah, overnight lows in the 60s. So if you uh, enjoy the nice, sunny, hot weather, man, this next week is for you. Uh, same for Idaho Falls, highs in the 90s with lows in the 50s. 50s. Now, a little bit of a different story as we start moving into parts of the upper valley, upper elevation. Sunday evening, we have a chance of some thunderstorms in through the Rexburg area, but still warm with highs in the 90s. A better chance of seeing those storms pop up in through parts of Jackson, Afton, and Driggs late Sunday into Monday night, and then again Wednesday and Thursday. But temperatures, not too bad. Low to mid 80s for the daytime highs, 40s and 50s for those overnight lows. And then through the Central Mountains, sunshine tomorrow, nice and warm, 92 to degrees backing off to 91 on Sunday, but then we have a chance of the central mountain thunderstorms kind of like we, what we saw today where you see the sunshine during the morning, some clouds build up late afternoon, chances of some thunderstorms 